Bank reserves. Bank reserves are the minimum amounts of cash that financial institutions must have on hand to meet central bank requirements. This is real paper money that must be kept by the bank in a vault on site or held in its account at the central bank. In the US, the Federal Reserve dictates the amount of cash, called the reserve ratio, that each bank must maintain. Historically, the reserve ratio has ranged from 0 to 10% of bank deposits. Bank reserves are primarily an antidote to panic. The Federal Reserve obliges banks to hold a certain amount of cash in reserve so that they never run short and have to refuse a customer's withdrawal, possibly triggering a bank run. A central bank may also use bank reserve levels as a tool in monetary policy, lowering the reserve requirement so that banks are free to make a number of new loans and increase economic activity. Or it can require that the banks increase their reserves to slow economic growth. Bank reserves are termed either required reserves or excess reserves. The required reserve is the minimum cash the bank can keep on hand, while the excess reserve is any cash over the required minimum that the bank is holding in its vault rather than lending out to businesses and consumers. In good times, businesses and consumers borrow more and spend more, and banks may also toughen their lending requirements to avoid defaults during recessions. The U.S. didn't have a national banking system until 1913 when the Federal Reserve System was created. Until then, banks were regulated by states, with varying results. After a financial panic in 1907, the Federal Reserve System was created to oversee the nation's money supply. Its role was expanded in 1977 when Congress directed the Federal Open Market Committee to carry out price stability as a national policy goal. The required bank reserve follows a formula set by Federal Reserve Board regulations, based on the total amount deposited in the bank's net transaction accounts. The required reserve ratio can also be used by a central bank as a tool to implement monetary policies. In addition to bank reserve requirements set by the Federal Reserve, banks must also follow liquidity requirements set by the Basel Accords. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Bank reserves are the minimal amounts of cash that banks are required to keep on hand in case of unexpected demand. 2. Excess reserves are the additional cash that a bank keeps on hand and declines to lend out. 3. Bank reserves are kept to prevent the panic that can arise if customers discover that a bank doesn't have enough cash on hand to meet immediate demands. 4. Bank reserves may be kept in a vault on site or sent to a bigger bank or a regional Federal Reserve Bank facility. Five. Historically, the reserve rate for American banks has been set at 0 to 10%. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.